Sarah Shaw. I'm the Nancy Hanks Senior Curator at the National Museum of Art at Duke University. The title of the show is El Greco to Velasquez, Art During the Reign of Philip III. The exhibition is the first time that the El Greco and Velasquez have been put within the context with their own contemporaries shown together for the first time and in the context of their own contemporaries. And it's a period when, um, well, it's, it's the first time that this period of Spanish art has ever been shown, the, the art produced in Spain between 1598 and 1621, which was the reign of Philip. And the purpose is to restore the reputation, not the purpose, but one of the purposes is to re restore the reputation of the king and, and the Duke of Lerma, his favorite, who um, have not been treated kindly by history. If you look at a encycl Spanish encyclopedia and you open it up and you turn to the Duke of Lerma, it says, responsible for the decline of the Spanish Empire, which is ridiculous, really ridiculous. But what happened was there was a campaign against the Duke, even in his own time, because it was very novel. It was too novel for his time, actually, to um, to create this position that would help the king govern. He was a de facto prime minister. I mean, they, we don't, that, that terminology didn't exist. But he was, he took care of, um, you know, all the audiences, for example, of ambas ambassadors that before would have come to the king, now they come to Lerma. And Lerma's allowed to sign uh, documents for the king. Um, what, and another thing he did was Lerma and the king um, began a whole policy of peace. And so they signed peace treaties with England, with France, um, with the Dutch rebels, the 12 year truce. So, they, so, so he was a, a peaceful man for yeah, the most part. Yes, pacifist, mm -hmm. pacifist. But he loved luxury and he understood that this new young teenage king um, uh, had to have a different image in his court. And so they issued in, as the court chronicler says, they issued in a new style of grandeur. 